My daughter is Bridget Michelle. And with the exception of Abigail, I felt absolutely no reason to keep on living. And then there you were. The answer to a prayer that I never said out loud. And I finally felt happy for the first time in a long time. Like I could smile and live and breathe again. Mike, you were the only thing that made me feel like I wanted to live. I mean that. So you bought me. You might as well sit your surly butt down and join my pity party. No, thanks. Are you sure? Champagne's French. I want some answers, Carly, and I want you to be straight with me. Now, you knew what Molly did, making the donation to Bernier, didn't you? That would be an unequivocal, unabashed, yes, indeedy. Well, what do you want me to do, Mike? You want me to apologize to you? I just want you to tell me the truth. Oh, okay. I'll tell you the truth. Not only did I know about it, I encouraged it from beginning to end. I even worked out some of the details myself with Dr. Bob. So, are you going to tell me off now? Or maybe you're just going to quit talking to me altogether. Which is it going to be? I haven't decided yet. Fine. Go ahead. Give me your worst. Because whatever it is, it certainly can't top Jack calling off my wedding. When did that happen? Whatsoever. All right. I just... Well, he might have hugged me, but that's all. And Jack saw. Nice, Carly. Nice. Well, shut up. It was a truce hug because we had said some very vicious things to each other, that's all. You know, something just occurred to me. What's that? Why are you here bothering me when you should be at home having makeup sex with Molly? Do you really have to ask? Well, after I found out that she forked over money to buy a life for me, I walked out on her. Ow! Oh, did that hurt? Well, you should consider yourself lucky, you know that, because Molly is hurting 10,000 times worse, all because of some man and his, his tender little baby ego tried to, to redefine the word dumb. You told the truth, and now you're gonna walk out on me now that I am telling you the truth? Besides which, you're not sober enough to drive, so give me your keys. Forget about it, all right? You can give me your keys, or I could always slash your tires. Don't lose them. No, I won't. I'll put them someplace it's very safe. On second thought, let's not go there. Fine. I've been there, remember? Yeah. I should have known better than to get drunk with you. A girl could get pregnant that way. I'm sorry, Carly. I, uh... I mean it. I just... I don't like reminding you of Norn. We had a baby together and we lost her. Nothing reminds me. She's always there. Can we break it? We can try. <laughs> well, your luck's going. You'll probably end up breaking a body part instead. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, this is perfect. Now tell me that the gods aren't conspiring against me. I'm drunk and blind, too. <laughs> where, where are you? I'd be right here. Where? Here. <laughs> I already told you. <laughs> Seriously, let's get out of here. Let's find someplace cooler or something. You can go. I told you that I'm not going to leave you alone in this place. You know something? You've always been sweet. You know what? Guys don't want to be sweet. They want to be like... Sexy, edgy, you know, cool. Well, you are. You, you are so sexy and edgy. You're sharp. It's so hot. We gotta cool you down. <laughs> uh, it's the dulcet tinkle of Carly Tenney. <laughs> men's clothes and women's clothes. Naked people. Yep. Yeah. 
one picture is too perfect. One picture is going to be worth a thousand of Rosanna Cabot's dollars. Come to me. It's called soap. <laughs> I thought you might be asleep. I keep seeing Molly's face. You should go to her. Not tonight. It's the same for me, you know. I see Jack. That look in his eyes. Don't start crying. I can't help right. it. My entire life is going down the toilet. What kind of loser keeps making the same mistakes with the same perfect partner over and over and over again? Didn't I just say that's not what love is about? I don't know. Obviously, I don't either. I gotta tell you, um, I don't know. I, you and I still have this. I don't really know what to call it. Do we? Carla, are you in there? Carla, if you're there, open up. I need to see you right away. Play always hide and sneak out of this place or what? No. You're gonna have to hide. Carly, open up. Come on. All right, stay back here. And don't don't even breathe. You understand me? Oh. We're good. probably didn't want to see me at home, and Park was with John, so I just, I crashed here. But I was just gonna go now, and we have a lot of phone calls to make. So I thought we could split the list. No, no, you you know, maybe, maybe we don't have to do that. I, uh, I spent most of last night thinking about what I said to you and how I acted when I found you with Craig and Curly. I was wrong. What did you say? I hurt you, Carly, for no reason, and I can only hope that somehow we, we can work our way back. I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> Honey, I'll get down on my knees and I'll propose to you again if that's what it takes. I want you to marry me, Carly, as much as I have.